What disability does Izzy have? Angelman syndrome, yeah. It is a chromosome abnormality and it results in having non-verbal, um, quite ataxic, quite sort of stiff and shaky when she, when she walks and her movements are quite jerky. Um, she's epileptic and, well, I mean, basically she's, uh, her mental age is probably about 12, 14 months. But it does vary, like most conditions, it varies um, from person to person or child to child. It's very difficult to, to get confidence when you have a child who, because Isabel could never tell me if there's a problem. She could never tell me she's unhappy. I would probably know, but why she was unhappy or what I wouldn't be able to, I would just... So you have to feel absolutely confident in, in the place and the people who are there and that they are doing, they're doing your job during the day. They're doing your job for her when she's not with you. Okay. You have to feel 100% confident. The people your children are, your children are with are you, but in a, you know, a formal or a, 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 in an establishment that, that they're safe, that they're, look, just, they, I, I can't speak more highly of them. Yeah, they're fantastic. Knowing that she's happy, knowing she's safe, is more important than anything. Um, and when she was at school, trying to find something that she would be able to go on to that would suit her needs was quite, well, it wasn't difficult actually, because I knew that that's where I wanted her to go. Um, and she'd been doing her, their youth group when she was in the children hamlet. And um, it was whether we would get that it, because of funding and you know whether we would actually get um, the hamlet, but we did and, and I'm thrilled. So it's made, it, without it, we, we would, well, I say struggle, but it would be, we wouldn't feel as relaxed, or she would have to be at home. I mean, I don't know she'd be at home. I don't know, but having them there is amazingly supportive. Yeah, makes, makes us, our lives possible. Isabel has a charmed life. She has a wonderful life. She has a life that the rest of us could dream of. She does exactly what she wants to do. The, the, the timetable at the Hamlet works for her absolutely. It, for the first time in her life, she's wearing a glove that fits and it it works with her not against her and it allows her to be the person that she is in every single way and I, if anyone's ever you know contemplating the hamlet then i would absolutely recommend it